My name is Panela Sandval and I'm going to present the wind research. And our research with FOXY5, a substance that can prevent uh, metastasis to be found. And that's what we are, are doing our research on now. But first, who am I to speak about the company? I am the CEO since May. And um, I am a pharmacist by training. And I have been doing clinical development all my professional life, which now starts to be some years. I have been with the Merkin Company or MSD as well, the small uh, or oh, the smaller subsidiaries. So I spent uh, t over 20 years with Merck, and then I joined Index Pharmaceuticals, which is a small Swedish company listed on First North. And I was uh, I was the COO operating officer at, at that company and we started with a smaller project and when I left we were in phase three. Uh, I spent 10 years with Index and then I thought it was time for me to do something else and, and I joined WINT and I'm really excited to talk, talk about our research today. We are listed on um, Spotlight and this is of course our disclaimer then, so this is for your information. So some highlights, I will give you five highlights now which I hope you can remember, I would like you to remember. So our substance is uh, FOXY5. It's a unique drug candidate, and our research is on colon cancer and patients in, in uh, stage 2 to 3. It's a unique mechanism of action. And colon cancer, that is the lower part of our intestine, eller tjocktarmen, for uh, those of you who speak Swedish. And this is what we started our research on. Uh, the the FOX5 is uh, formulated in a way that it should be patient fr friendly and easy for the clinics to use. So this is cancer treatment the patients uh, are diagnosed with the colon cancer, and. Uh, so far, it has been a very, very beneficial. Um, the side effects have been very well tolerated. We have no signals. So this is, I think you, everyone knows that uh, chemotherapy and a lot of other cancer treatments, they really are very difficult to manage for the patients. So this is really key. Uh, I, I mentioned stage two and three. It's a segment which is uh, in colon cancer, and I'm going to explain that a little bit in more in detail. But it means it's actually an opportunity. So even if it's, it's a subpopulation of this, if we are to treat 65,000 patients every year, it could translate to more than 500 million US dollars. We have, we, I say, I will say we a few times. We have an experienced organization, including my team and, and the board, and we also have sign, uh, scientific advisors. And we know drug development and also business development as well as the uh, commercialization. And um, least, so cancer uh, is, a, is a huge field. Colon cancer, we are our focus right now. But that doesn't mean uh, that we need to, um, that we cannot expand to other cancer forms as well. So there is a, a huge opportunity here. So those are the highlights. And I will give you a little more details now. Um, over one million persons are diagnosed every year with colon cancer. And if you are uh, diagnosed, so if, when the patients are diagnosed, um, the overall survival five, for five years is more than 70%. So it is quite good for cancer, but it's still, it's still a deadly disease. But if you form, if the patient has metastasis, this changed dramatically, and then it's only 14% who survive five years. So preventing metastasis to be formed is a huge need, and it's actually very important that we could do this. This is to avoid relapse and death, eventually. So colon cancer then, or shock terms cancer. There are different stages in this cancer. You can have one to five, uh, to four, as you see in, in the bottom, in the end. All those patients get surgery, so you remove the, the primary tumor, and that should be done quickly. So it's usually done within a month, so over, all over the world. If you are in stage one, you don't get any pharmacology treatment, then you get follow-up, so it's a low risk. But if you're in stage two, three, and four, and in your, if you're in, you get chemotherapy, 
And if you are in four, you get you have metastasis, and you get even more treatments. And you have known of immunohistochemic theory. There's a lot of different treatments out there that are really treating the metastasis of fjärrtumörerna. And um, and there are research in stage two and three as well. Aspirin is looking at a special gene, uh, a special type of those patients. But there is a huge opportunity for those patients in stage two and three who have not formed metastasis yet. So metastasis process is a little difficult to, to describe. This is complicated diseases, but we have the dandelion as our, our, uh, on our logo. So if you see this flower and you see how the seeds look like this fluffy ball, and uh, you see the seeds spreads, and they get a lot of, a lot of flowers at the end. And this is uh, trying to, to show how if you get one primary tumor, it can actually get a lot of metastasis. So this is what we should prevent. And how do we know this? So FOXY5, our substance, uh, have, um, is mimicking a protein, WIN5A. And this signaling of the WIN5A is actually causing the... Uh, the cancer cells not to spread as much or to invade the surrounding bodies. And I'm really happy today because in the room I have Professor Andersson who sits in the audience here and he is really the expert and f one of the founders of the company. And we'll be happy to explain further if you have questions. We try to illustrate this with, the, with two uh, pictures here. So if the WIN5, if the tumor have a high expression of WIN5A, the cancer cells doesn't spread that well. It stays more local to the tumor. But if it's a low expression of WIN5A, you actually see the cancer cells that are actually going, uh, say, moving away, spreading, and can then possibly then create metastasis or form metastasis in other parts of the body. Colon cancer, often it's the lungs and it's the liver. But win uh, what WIN5A, you cannot give that as a drug. It's too big of a, of a molecule, it's a protein. Um, uh, but FOXY5 mimics what WIN5A does. And by giving this, we are mimicking and then preventing the metastasis to be formed. I say we have shown this. Uh, we have done this as you do in, in clinical research. You look in ce on cell in in vitro studies and you do in vivo studies. So we have, sh we have shown that FOXY5 is actually mimicking uh, the WIN5A protein. Um, what we also have done is that we have done TOX studies called. It's when you look if it's really like poisoning to the body. This is something you you always have to do in drug development. And we have done that, and we could see uh, that we could continue our development and that it was safe uh, for the patients that were, were involved as well. When we look at the kinetics, it's called, we also looked at formulation. And formulation is how you give the drug to the patients. Maybe you have a super good substance, but it's impossible to get it to the patient. But that we are doing, it's formulated in a, dry, a freeze-dried tablet, and it's then uh, d diluted in saline, and it can be given as an infusion or as a drop. And we have done phase one studies, and that's when first time you give to a patient. And that we have done two phase one studies, and uh, there were no, as again, it's a very beneficial uh, safety profile, and we could continue to phase two. So we are now in phase two clinical development. And the ongoing study have 127 patients randomized. So the patient get the diagnose, and then after a month approximately, they have the surgery and the primary tumor is removed. We treat prior to the surgery for three weeks, and then uh, the patient have continued to treat until they get the chemotherapy. The plan was, and I say was now, <laughs> but the plan was really to look at overall survival or relapses after two years. Cancer, t I mean, it's, it's a long disease, you know that it, it patients can get uh, relapses after quite some long time. And they, that translates to the studies that we have to look a lot for a long time. 
Uh, but what happened in in August, and I will explain that a little bit further, is that we saw that one of our physicians, the primary investigator, saw a change in a primary tumor, and thanks to my colleague who really picked it up. I say we have an experienced team. She could have sort of just let it pass, but she didn't. And we looked deeper into this and could see that there were other patients having this as well. So it was an observation. And this was seen at surgery. And we didn't expect it to be that quick in, in patients, in humans. In animals, it's faster. But in humans, to see something after three weeks of treatment, we didn't expect that. So we had not put that in the study. But we are now revising the plan and we'll uh, make an amendment to the study and measure a look at the, those changes at surgery. So it's quite a big change to the study and uh, a faster readout of a signal of the effect. And we had previously planned to do interim analysis in December to look at another signal to see how big the study should be. But it's way better to, to now... Um, um, make the or calculate the size of the study um, based on true, true, true data instead of theories that others have shown. So we are very excited with this. Um, and what we are doing um, is really what we saw is that we could see the invasion and the migration of cells or the tumor had not spread as it had. So it was a change, and it's called TNM staging. It's a quite complex way of, of, of setting the stage of a tumor, but we could see changes in this. And, and, and Tommy, you were not at all expecting this um, quick readout or it, see such a quick effects. What we're doing now is that we have planned an interim analysis, and we don't do that. I want to be clear with that. And we have we are now going to add approximately 60 to 80 patients that we already have, see, um, have those 127. And the revised study plan is uh, to be hopefully approved in, in spring. So we can go into other cancer forms. <laughs> and, uh, and what I would like to say is that we have uh, a lot of uh, experienced team our priority is to do the study, to look at uh, our uh, product, to always to do, do improvement, to look at our patent, and, and also to attend, and, and intensify our actually partnering process and uh, business development. Those are our focus areas now. And we're doing this with uh, very experienced... Um, and we have launched, I should say that, we, with the panel we just had, we are in this situation that we had to have more um, financing to the company, and we just launched this uh, rights issue. Uh, this is the team, and this is the uh, board. And now I have got to know those people after six months in the company. I'm very happy to work with those. We have those advisors as well, very known professors in the field. And... Uh, if you would like, you are welcome to get my slides, but I want to end this uh, with saying that this is our vision, that we shouldn't, we shouldn't have patients getting metastasis. So by treating v 5 we should have the seed stay. They have the, the primary tumor, but it shouldn't spread. We should see this lawn instead. Uh, nothing against the flowers per se, but I wanted you to see, as it's a cultural, quite complex uh, field. I think this was a way to explain it. And you can reach me here. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm going to start with asking you to elaborate a bit on your these unexpected findings that you mentioned in the NeoFox study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will be happy to explain those, but as um, I would like to give the word to Professor Anderson to say what were we seeing and what are the impact of those. Please join me. Okay, so um, if one go back to tumor metastasis, if it's a good tumor, then it stays like this and you take it out by surgery. But unfortunately, that's not too often that happens. So the cells in the tumor, they start to detach from each other 
and they increase their migration, so they start to move out. And in a colon cancer, they invade the wall of the colon uh, intestine. So they come further out. And this could be, this is related to the growth, but it's sort of spikes coming out from the tumor. And when it's doing that, some of the cells also detach and they go away and invade the surrounding tissue and infiltrate into the blood vessels or vessels in general, even lymph vessels. The other thing is that some tumor cells goes into the nerves and follow the nerves uh, further away. So what we saw when we had these two groups, non-treated, treated, and the pathologist uh, analyzed the tumors that were taken out, was that the T value was going down. So they didn't spread as much into the wall. We saw statistically significantly less spreading along the nerves and less spreading into the blood vessels. So these are the first steps of metastasis. If nothing of this happened, we wouldn't get any metastasis. So, of course, this is the first step, but Stopping the first step is probably the best thing you can do if you want to stop metastasis. So this is what we have seen. Thank you. Super exciting project and good presentation. I was really intrigued by your study design and wondering why wouldn't one want to continue with FOXY5 during chemotherapy? That would seem like the logical design. Mm -hmm. Probably. And this is our first efficacy study, so it's the first phase two study. So I would envision that in future development that that will happen, because also, as mentioned, well, the safety profile is so, so good, it can be combined with other, other treatments as well. Yeah, as, as a drug developer, I was mm -hmm. thinking you could do like the interaction studies in parallel in a phase two mm -hmm. study. But mm -hmm. Let's continue that discussion. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll be happy to. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about the rights issue that you are doing later this year. Do you want to tell us what will this money be raised for? What are you doing with them? The majority, we, so we are in clinical development and um, the majority will be used for the study. So if, it's, uh, if it will be a fully signed, and I, I, I really hope, but we just heard the panel, maybe not fully, but this money will be very, very helpful and important for us to do the study. And also we have, have, a, uh, have the option programs. So if we, if we could, um, this could mean that we could actually end the study with this money. So I really hope that. But what we should also do is to do interaction with the regulatory authorities to show our plans and see that we are on, on our right way and using endpoints that they want to see. What we also should do is to do interaction with partners. We are a very small company and it's important to, to get help in, in the drug development and or the future development. And this, uh, they don't just come flying. You have to work with finding a partner. So those are the, the things that this will help us with. I see. To be used for. Do we have a last question anywhere? So I will ask you, will you su subscribe to the issue? Mm, I will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>